Well, happy Tuesday, human beings from the planet Earth. What you see in front of you is a little reminder to the global elite who think that it's okay to hide information from the American people and the rest of the world. A little reminder that we will kill the system. It seems, folks, that we have had some uh, leaked documents that show that we're not safe here in America and some more interesting information from the Fukushima event. So let's go take a look at this. First we'll start off with this little bit of uh, information that's not well known or easily found until now, I might add. Earthquake hazard at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Now many of you may have remembered last year there was a fire there and you know they had everybody worried about that because there's stored plutonium and other things but it seems that there is an earthquake hazard that they didn't want you to know about severe accident at the plutonium facility at Los Alamos National Laboratory would present a significant risk to the public and there is therefore one of the board's greatest safety concerns on October 26 2009 the board issued a recommendation 2009-2 Los Alamos National Laboratory plutonium facility seismic safety seismic meaning earthquake for those of you that don't understand the wordage okay which recommended actions to protect the public from the consequences of a large earthquake and subsequent large fire at PF4 now we knew about the fire but we had no clue that an earthquake uh, could be imminent and that there is a danger or, or I didn't and I, and I think that you didn't um, and I think that this information was kept from you. In fact, I know that it was. Uh, that was until now. I'll get to that later, where you find this document. The board followed up by issuing Recommendation 2010-1, Safety Analysis Requirements for Defining Adequate Protection for the Public and the Workers to Address DOE's Interpretation of its Nuclear Safety Management Rule, 10 CFR Part 830, an associated DOE standard for preparing documented safety analysis. The rule in the standard form for the underpinning of the ensuring adequate protection of the public at DOE's defense nuclear facilities. Okay, uh, so anyway, we have a danger there um, they haven't told you about. Uh, I can't tell you that an earthquake is imminent at the laboratory. I'm just telling you that they think it will be some time and when it is there is a major risk to the public. Okay, now on to some Fukushima stuff. We got a bunch of snippets here we're going to show you. This first one, leaked document, Marty, the leak at Fukushima can be easily stopped using lessons learned during GS1-191 head loss testing. A combination of fibers and MinK will stop any leak. <laughs> Why? For over a year have we been fighting leaks? Y you can go ahead and read the rest of this once I show you where to get this document. Okay, uh, let's move along because I've got shit to do today, but I want to make sure you get this information. Now this nice little piece of information. Unit uh, 4 through 6 have been shut down for refueling. We were only told that one reactor was shut down for refueling. I believe number 5 the public was informed of. Well, it seems that there were three shut down for refueling. Oh, you didn't know about number 6, huh? You, di you didn't know there was a number 6? Now you do. Um, refueling outages at the time of the earthquake with the core of Unit 4 offloaded to the SFP, which is spent fuel pool which suffered a total loss of water along with inability to retain water. A little more critical than they told us. A lot more critical than they told us. Uh, let's see, I think these are out of order. All these documents. Let's go here. NISA press release from April 2nd mentioned that the water with dose rate of more than 1,000 millisieverts per hour was confirmed by TECCO around 320 UTC on April 2nd inside the cable storage pit located next to number 2 discharge point. There exists a crack of approximately 20 centimeters on the sidewall of the pit closest to the sea and the water inside the pit is confirmed and shown to be leaking directly into the sea. News reports indicate the flow of this water is approximately 2 liters a second. News reports indicated TEPCO used a polymer absorbent under high pressure inject to try and stop the leak of the radioactive water. Try and stop the leak. We just saw that 
uh, this person thought that any leak could be fixed. Um, so I don't know why they tried something that they were told could stop any leak. But what are they trying? Okay, some more nice information here. Let's see what else we have. The board held a public hearing in Santa Fe. Oh, this is in relation to the Los Alamos. These are a little out of order, so I apologize for that. Okay, um, let's move along. Okay, in this uh, little bit of information, it seems that um, some pumps were set to be sent from Australia to help, but that we were fighting about money. Issue, cost initially discussed was 750000 Current cost approximately $9.6 billion. Now what the hell's going on here? It, it would have cost seven fifty, except there's a nuclear accident, and we know you're under the gun, so now we're going to charge you $9.6 billion. I can only assume. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give you the link to the document. You can read it for yourself. You decide. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you what to think. But I am going to continue to provide leaked information that it seems nobody can get a hold of. But then again, like, like I said when we started the video, we will kill the system, you global elite bastards that think the sheep will be too scared to know the truth. Bullshit. Bullshit. We will not rest. We will not submit. Oh, what's this? You weren't told about this. If you're an American, did you know that the Japanese government asked for U.S. assistance? I think that we were told the Japanese refused our assistance. Isn't, isn't that what I remember? I mean, it has been over a year and I go through so much information it's really hard to remember all the details but see with these leaked documents now we can refresh our minds brush up on the evidence in the in the numbers and do the math and and realize that not only did your president lie to you which is equal to genocide if you do the math uh, people not protecting themselves from low levels of radioactive fallout is genocide because we, we can't even calculate how many infants will not be born although they'll form in the womb but it's when they come out you know they're not actually alive so so we don't really know how many hundreds of thousands or millions of people uh, if you add on the the kids dropping dead from malformed hearts and in the leukemia and the, the thyroid and, and all these hosts of evils but so we, the Japanese asked us for assistance. We were told that the Japanese refused assistance. Hmm. It's a little bit different. What's this? The Japanese government was formally asked for su assistance from the U.S. via the ambassador. The chairman had been notified and seemed inclined, at least initially, to support the request. The request includes technical experts who would be embedded into two emergency operations centers on a 24-hour basis. This would mean that perhaps six NRC staffers, uh, they want guidance on how to get water from the sea to a pond and from there to the reactor. Japanese helped us, wanted our help. We told you everything was fine and we refused to help them and they've been battling this for over a year with radioactive shit flying out into our atmosphere every day. Now, we saw that the leak could easily be fixed. The leak at the Fukushima can easily be stopped. Okay? Refuse to help. You were told everything is fine. And again, let me reiterate we will kill the system. Now all these leaked documents that I just showed you are right here on Mediafire in a nice little folder. Show you all of them. These are all the ones I just went through with you and the link to this folder will be below. Do as you will. Much love, many thanks, and expect more documents in the near future.